In this video, we're going to extend our use of first derivative sign charts to help us find relative maximums and relative minimums for functions. Now, a generic term we can use when we're not sure whether we're looking at a maximum or a minimum yet, or if we want to refer to both possibilities simultaneously, is this word extrema. So when we say we're finding the relative extrema of a function, that means we're looking for all the relative maximums and all the relative minimums. So let's start by creating a first derivative sign chart. Let's take the derivative of the function, which in this case will be 54x minus 3x squared, and let's look for the critical points by setting that derivative equal to zero. We can solve this equation by using the quadratic formula or by, say, factoring out 3x. If we do that, I think factoring is easier. In this case, we're going to see that the solutions are x equals 0 and x equals 18. So those are our critical values. Now let's create our first derivative sign chart. So remember, this is going to be a number line on which we indicate x values. In this case, we start with the critical points we just found. And above the number line, we indicate the sign of the derivative. At the critical values, the derivative is 0. And in between the critical values and on the intervals separated by those critical values the derivative will either be positive or negative and we want to figure out which so let's take some easy points in each interval plug them into the derivative and see what we get for example in between 0 and 18 an easy value to use might be x equals 1 and if I plug that into the derivative, remember not the original function, we're plugging it into the derivative here, we get 51, which is positive. So at every x value between 0 and 18, the derivative will be positive. Let's check something greater than 18. Let's try 20. You can verify that if you plug a 20 into 54x minus 3x squared, you get a negative number. And let's plug in something less than 0. Let's try negative 1. And again, you can verify that you get a negative number out. And that tells us that our original function is decreasing on the interval of x values less than 0, increasing on the interval of x values between 0 and 18, and decreasing again on the interval of x values greater than 18. Now let's think for a few seconds of what the graph might have to look like. It's going to be decreasing for a while, so it's going to look like this. And then it's going to be increasing a while and look like that. But then it has to become decreasing again. If you zoom in near this critical point, and you just look at inside a small box around that point, it looks like the smallest value of the function, at least inside that little window. That's what we mean by a local minimum. So at the critical point where x is 0, our function has a local minimum, also called a relative minimum. If you look in a little window at the function around the other critical point, where x is 18, you see that because the function goes from increasing to decreasing, that critical point looks like it's the maximum value inside that window. And that's what we mean by a local maximum, or a relative maximum. So to summarize what this first derivative sign chart is telling us about the extrema. We have a relative minimum at x equals 0, and a relative maximum 
at x equals 18. In some cases, you might want to actually know what the y values or the output values are at these points, but that's easy. Now that you know where the minimum occurs, you just plug that x value into the original function to get the y value if you want to know the output at that relative minimum. Or to find the output at that relative maximum, you just plug in the appropriate x value to the original function. Most of the work is here in constructing your first derivative sign chart. So to summarize this, we follow the same procedure as before for constructing a first derivative sign chart, but then we also notice that wherever the function's derivative changes from decreasing to increasing, like here, that has to be a relative minimum. And wherever the derivative changes from positive to negative, so the function changes from increasing to decreasing, like here, that's a relative maximum. We can label the sign chart with those pieces of information, and we can summarize that information like this.